I usually don't report on supposed leaks since many of them ultimately prove to be extremely off base. However, today we received some extremely compelling information from a source that has proven time and time again to be reliable, making StarWars.net, link to their website will be down below. Before we begin with discussing this information, however, I do want to say potential spoilers for Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. The information gathered doesn't necessarily convey specific plot details concerning Episode 8, rather explaining the current status of the galaxy and its political situation after the destruction of the Hosnian system in The Force Awakens and the Republic along with it. Making Star Wars said this, for Snoke, the loss of the Starkiller base was as significant as his wins. His forces are no longer a secret to the galaxy at large. Those who used to laugh at the idea that the First Order were a threat are either dead or no longer laughing. The Cold War style standoff is publicly over after a full on assault on the Republic and the Senate. The galaxy no longer views Snoke as someone that is irrelevant on the galactic stage. The galaxy knows he and his cronies are maniacal zealots and that they are to be feared for better or worse. The galaxy seems to mostly understand that the First Order is eventually coming to conquer their worlds and they have to fall in line or resist. Most understand that war has returned and the perceived era of peace is over. Snoke understands that everything the First Order used to do in secret is no longer an option and a very overt war is on the horizon. Unfortunately, the Republic has completely collapsed after being attacked in Star Wars The Force Awakens by Starkiller Base. The galaxy is in complete disarray. The galaxy understands that everyone has to pick a side now. General Organa no longer stands alone in her determination that the First Order is the greatest threat to freedom and democracy in the galaxy, and the only choice they have left is to fight. End quote. This all sounds extremely compelling, and a lot different than what actually occurred in the original trilogy, which is something I'm fully on board for, since The Force Awakens was largely criticized for being too similar to A New Hope. The original trilogy was all about rebellion and rising up against the bigger force to conquer tyranny, and in the prequels, we largely saw characters easily overpower the clearly inferior battle droids during conflicts. Also in the prequel trilogy, the Clone Wars were really brushed over. I know that we did get an animated series, but as far as the films went, we saw the beginning and the tail end. Now we get to experience a full-on war in the Star Wars Cinematic Universe, with the galaxy and Resistance coming together to combat the First Order, and at the same time Snoke and the First Order revealing plans and secrets long kept in the shadows of deep space. There were also reports last year indicating that the death of Han Solo would be used as a rallying cry, not only for the members of the Resistance, but now for the galaxy at large, as he was a war hero during the time of the Empire. I am hugely excited for Episode 8, and of course seeing Luke again, but perhaps even more so seeing two forces go at one another for the fate of the galaxy on fairly even ground this time. No more secrets, and no more Republic. This is all turning out to be something very exciting that I cannot wait to see. Thanks again to Making Star Wars for bringing us this information, but keep in mind there is always the possibility it could be proven incorrect. I guess we will all find out this December. So how do you feel about this, and the current state of the galaxy after Starkiller Base destroyed the Hosnian system, the Republic, and the Senate? Who do you think has the better chance of winning this large-scale war? Also, what secrets do you think Snoke has hidden in unknown space? If you enjoyed the video and feel it deserves it, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like, as it helps the channel and the video out a great deal. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing to ensure you stay up to date with everything Star Wars related, from news, theories, and explanation videos. If you would like to reach me, you can leave a comment as I do read them all, or tweet me at StupendousWave on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, may the Force be with you, and have a great day.